welcome to the video on basic subtraction. So what's subtraction? Subtraction is essentially taking away uh, from something else. So you learned addition. So let's see it in addition. And I think I used avocados as the example. But let's use something else. I don't know. I'm using a, a what color is this? This is like a, a but let's do bananas. We use yellow. So we learned in 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 addition, in basic addition, that if we have, let's say, one, two bananas, and then we were to grow three more bananas, and I'll make the three new bananas green, because right when you grow a banana before it has a chance to ripen, it's green. So let's say I were to grow three more bananas. Three more bananas. And they look more like beans than bananas, but I think you get the idea. So we learned in basic addition that we uh, the total number of bananas we would now have would be 2 plus the three new ones that we just grew, plus 3. And you l realize that that's 5. And then the other way to visualize that was if we looked at a number line. Let me do a, draw a thicker number line than that. Let's say that this, I'll do it in magenta. This color is magenta. So if you were to look at a number line, and this is 0 bananas. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it just keeps going into larger and larger numbers. So we said we started off with 2 bananas. Right? And we grew we grew three bananas. So that took us three steps larger on the number line, or three steps to the positive on the number line. So that would be one, two, three. So we got this far. So what's the total number of bananas we have? We have five. We started at two and we added three bananas. Okay. So that was a review of addition. So what is subtraction? Well, subtraction is the opposite of addition. When, you, when, you, when you're adding two numbers, at least we'll deal with the positive numbers right now. I don't want to scare you too much uh, at your tender age. But uh, <laughs> I don't, actually, I don't know how old you are, because this is a video. Uh, but I, you know, if we're dealing with positive numbers, when you add two positive numbers, you get a larger number. When you subtract two numbers, you'll get, you're, you're going to get, at least for now, you're going to get a smaller number. So let's think about subtraction. So let's start. Maybe I'll go back to avocados, because they're easier to draw than bananas. So let's say I were to start with, eh, let's say, six avocados. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six avocados. So I start with six avocados. Start six avocados. I start with six avocados, and let's say I'm very hungry. And uh, despite the fact that uh, avocados are calorie-rich food, I decide to eat four avocados. So I eat four avocados. So I eat four avocados. My question to you is, how many avocados? do I have left? Let's see, these are, the, these are my six avocados. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, this, let's say that this one looks particularly tasty and ripe and ready to eat, so, so I, I eat that one. So let's take that one away. That doesn't exist anymore, so we're left with five. But I told you I ate a total of four avocados. And let's say that this one also looks awfully good, so I, I eat this one. I'm just going right to left. I could just say this one looks good. Doesn't matter which avocados I pick, they're all equally delicious. Let's say I pick, I don't know. Well, I'm I'm going to start go from the right and go to the left just so you have some visualization of things. Then I pick this avocado and I eat it. Right? And I said four avocados. How many how many have I eaten so far? I've eaten one, two, three avocados. So I have to eat one more in order to get my daily allowance of avocados. So I eat four avocados. So the question was, how many avocados do I have left? Well, look here. I, I had six. I ate four of them. And right here, I have two uneaten avocados. So left, 
the avocados left is going to be two avocados. I should probably, um, you know, you're, you're just probably learning to read right now, so I should probably use words easier to spell than avocados. But never hurts to be exposed. So we just did subtraction. If I were to write this without having to draw avocados, we would have said 6 minus, you could view the eat as minus, taking away. So 6 minus 4 avocados is equal to 2 avocados. If we go to the number line, let's think about that number line. Hopefully you're reasonably familiar with this point. Let's look at that number line. Let's say that this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, I don't want to bore you, 5, 6, and it just keeps going. I could extend this number line forever, because there's no largest number, as you'll learn later. Or as you could imagine, right? If there was a largest number, I can always think of a bigger number, because I could add 1 to that number. But anyway. Let's go back to the problem and not get too deep with, with uh, how large a number can get. So how many avocados did we start off with? We started off with six avocados, right? And we ate four, or we could say we subtracted four. Now remember, when we added, if we added four avocados, let's say if we grew more four, four more avocados, we would have gone to the right four spaces on the number line. But with subtraction, you go to the left on the number line which makes sense. You're taking away, right? If I ate one avocado, I would have five left. If I ate two avocados, I would have four left, right? So the number of avocados is that, that I eat is the number that I take, I take a jump to the left. So it says I ate four avocados. So I ate one, two, three, four avocados. So I will go four spots to the left when I eat my four avocados. And I will be left with two avocados. Let's do a couple of more examples, and I think you'll have a decent idea of, of how subtraction works. Oh, actually, and let's think of it this way. Let's say I want you to show how, I want you to see how addition and subtraction are related to each other. Let's say that um, I were to tell you that I started with six avocados. Let me think about it, the best way to say. Let's say that I started with six avocados, so I said, well, let, me, let me just erase this. I don't want to get too crowded on the page. Let's say I start with six avocados, just like the last problem, avocados. And let's say someone comes into my room and eats a bunch, and I'm left with, I'm left with two avocados. I'll do it in a different color. Let's say I'm left with two avocados. My question is, how many did the p person eat? How many did they eat? I don't know. How many did they eat? I started with six, and I'm left with two. How many did they eat? Well, there's a couple of ways to think about it. You could say six avocados minus the amount of avocados eaten is equal to two. So the way you have to think about it is, six minus what is equal to two, right? So let's think about it from the number line. Or let's, we could even draw the avocados. I'll draw them. I'll still draw them in green. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many do I have to eat? How many do I have to take away to be left with two? Well, let's say these are the two that I'm left with, so I would have to take away these four. So essentially, that person would have had to eat, be, have eaten four avocados. Another way you could think about it is, what is the difference between the number of avocados I started with and the numbers of avocados that I'm left with? So the way you think about difference is, what is how different is 6 and 2? And that is how many must have been eaten. And so you could actually write it like this. The difference between 6 and 2 is equal to the number of avocados that are eaten. And let me draw you a little graph that might make a little more sense of that. Let's say that that bar represents six. And you know, you could six of anything, but in our example it's six avocados. Right? And let's
let's say this bar here represents how many were left. Let's say that's two. So our question is, how many were eaten? So this amount right here had to be what was eaten. And so you could view it as the difference between six and two, or four avocados. Anyway, I hope I didn't confuse you, and I hope that was a reasonable introduction to subtraction. Let me know if you found this daunting, but I will see you in the next video.